Welcome to Urban Knife Guy and today we're going to have a look at my all-in-one hiking and bushcraft cook set. So everything I need for cooking, creating a fire, it's all inside this pouch. And this pouch is actually designed for water bottles, but I repurposed it for this. And the reason why I put it in this particular case, one, the items I use fit perfectly inside. And the second is the molly attachment here. So the way I carry this is at the base of my pack and I attach it with these molly attachments. So it's really secure. Now, if I'm going for a hike and I do not intend to do any cooking, maybe it's a short day hike, then I can remove this and reduce this weight. And if I, when I want to use it, I can secure it and that's not a problem at all. So let's uh, first measure this just to give you a sense of the size. So the entire length is about 11 inches. The diameter of uh, this pouch is four and a half inches. Now there is also this front pouch and that's six and a half inches and the thickness about two, two and a half inches depending how full you put it in. So the total, uh, I, I guess the thickness is about just under seven inches. So that gives you an idea of how big this particular pouch is. But let's start to open this up and have a look inside. We'll start with the main compartment. Uh, I do have some morale patches over here. These are like Scout Merit badges. So that's uh, obviously for food and that's for fire. And this main compartment over here, this is where I keep both my wood stove as well as my pot, a cooking pot. So let's start with the stove over here first. So I do have a stuff bag and in the top we have this fireproof blanket and that's really as a fire lay for the wood stove to put down on the surface wherever I'm going to be setting this uh, particular stove on fire. So this stove is a three-piece aluminum, not aluminum, titanium stove. So very lightweight. This is based, I believe, on the Tox uh, wood stove. And this is made by a brand called Lasada. So this is slightly different in design, but essentially the same concept. It is a three-piece stove which you can put together so that goes in like that. So that's the fuel chamber, uh, that's the feed chamber and then that goes onto the base like that. So that's how it looks like. There's also a pot stand which uh, is a cross stand which I'll show you in just a bit that goes on top so that you can put your pot on top. So essentially this is a wood stove so you will need to use wood as your main source of fuel. Of course you need tinder and kindling as well. Now sometimes if I'm lazy, I just want a quick fire, uh, I bring along this wood pellets as well. So this is these are processed wood pellets and uh, designed to catch uh, fire. And I bring this around, this would easily fill up uh, the entire pot if I need, but I can also split it in two and that already would give me easily a 30 minute uh, burn time. And I do this uh, again out of uh, convenience, but also if it happens to be too wet, it's been raining a lot and I cannot find uh, dry wood or it's just going to take me too long to process dry wood uh, by cutting and splitting uh, wood, then this is where this comes in. So all this goes together like that and fits into uh, the stuff bag that I just showed. The next item I have inside the main compartment is simply a bandana and this is used uh, to you know lift up the hot items when I'm cooking and I guess if I really need to filter water I do have this to act as a large filter as well. And here we have my actual cooking pot. So this is the Stanley Adventure two cup set. So it actually comes with two nesting cups inside but I remove the cups uh, I don't bring them around what I really want is this pot so stainless steel very solid it fits in my pouch very well you have measurements here uh, so that you can uh, put in the required water that you need and the way you open it is to press the handle over here because there's a spring that's what locks it into place so that's really handy as well and you let that open up so that's really just spring tension over there and there is a lid with strainers for you to pour water when it's inside if needed. And inside I have a washcloth. I've got some beverages depending on uh, what I need, depending on uh, how many different beverages I want. But generally I have at least a packet of coffee, maybe tea uh, and a granola bar for energy. Also got a simple plastic fork and spoon. I didn't go titanium, you know, these plastic 
or uh, polymer, I guess, utensils or cutlery really very strong and also they're short enough a lot of the camping utensils tend to be long so it won't really fit in and i do not want any of the foldable ones because those with the hinge that fold even though they pack small the problem is they can get a lot of dirt maybe food or grime stuck within those joints and sometimes from an outfield you don't really have access to really clean uh, your utensils that well so you know, I don't want any of those joints. It's easy for me to wash or wipe this down uh, and that will be clean and uh, won't have any bacteria forming within those joints. Inside, I do have a cup as well and this is an aluminum cup. Now, many people, when they put together the cook kit, what they do is they have a larger cup and they fit it into the base of their cook pot. That's a very common setup. Now, the problem that I feel is when we put this on the stove and we burn it, there's going to be a lot of soot, it's going to be dirty. And if this is your drinking or eating cup or small pot, if you put that inside, then all the dirt gets inside. And I don't know, that, that just doesn't seem as hygienic to me. So I have this aluminum, very lightweight cup that goes into my bag and that, you know, fits in this way. So, you know, all the, not much dirt inside. Uh, if I really need in a pinch, uh, I could also use this as a metal container to heat up. But generally, I do not uh, put this directly on open flame, only as an emergency if maybe this is damaged or uh, for whatever the reason might be. Uh, that's why I don't use the plastic cup as well. But in this way, everything still nests in uh, and I think I keep everything clean. So those are all the items in the main compartment of this cook set. Now in the front pouch over here, this is where I keep my fire kit or fire related items. And first up is my fire tin. Now there's quite a lot of stuff inside, so I'm not going to show it in this video, but do subscribe to the channel and check out the next video where I'm going to open this up and show you the 10 things inside my fire tin. But besides the fire tin, I do also keep this. Uh, this is a Fresnel lens, so you can use this to start a fire with the sunlight. Now, really, honestly, I keep this for fun, right? For bushcrafting, uh, to explore, trying to start fires in new ways. This, to me, is not the most practical way to start a fire, or at least I've got many more ways to start a fire much more efficiently. Uh, but this is something that doesn't take up a lot of space. It's thin, it's lightweight, and uh, it's, it's, it's fun to do, and you get a sense of satisfaction if you start a fire uh, with the Fresnel lens. Over here I have, uh, this is the pot stand I mentioned earlier that comes with the wood stove. So this just goes together like that to form that cross and that goes on top of the uh, oven, or the, not the oven, but the stove. And that's where you can put the pot on uh, for heating up and cooking. And finally, one last item inside, I have uh, kind of another stuff sack and this is very lightweight it is a mesh bag uh, but very light takes up very little space but the point for this is to uh, carry or collect tinder uh, when i'm out uh, bushcrafting and i want to start a fire with very natural organic means and then you need to collect tinder so i use that to collect uh, to bring it back to base camp to start the fire and here we have all the items for my all-in-one hiking and bushcrafting cook set do you have a similar setup let me know in the comments below. As mentioned, I will be sharing the 10 items in my fire tin in the next video. So please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.